You guys, I finally got it to work. All right, if you haven't been following along, a few weeks ago, somebody made a video about their kids' science experiment where they put eggs in different beverages. This one was put into Hawaiian Punch and I was trying to recreate it by putting an egg into Hawaiian Punch and it wasn't working. I have a few videos explaining how this can happen to an eggshell when it's put into something with citric acid in it, which Hawaiian Punch does have. However, the liquid version of Hawaiian Punch that I was using does not have enough citric acid to cause this reaction, so I didn't know how they were getting this reaction to happen. If you watch those previous videos, you can see how I did different concentrations of citric acid, and I did get this result with about three grams of citric acid in eight ounces of water. Of course, it wasn't dyed red because I just used just citric acid. So then in the comments, I saw some people saying that there was a powdered version of Hawaiian Punch. So I got some of it in, and I did notice that the first ingredient was citric acid, so there is more citric acid in these pouches than there is in the eight ounces of the liquid Hawaiian punch that you can buy, which is what I was using previously. So to make this according to directions, you use one packet of this powder in 16.9 fluid ounces of water. Well, I did two different concentrations. I did one packet in eight ounces of water, and then I did two packets in eight ounces of water. So the first one would be twice, well, over more than two times as concentrated as what it should be, and the second one I did is over four times as concentrated as it should be if you make it according to these directions. So this was the one in the eight ounces of water with just one packet, which again is over two times the concentration, because if you read the directions here, this should be put into 16.9 ounces of water. You can see it did not do much other than dye the egg red. You can see it was kind of starting right here, um, but really not much. Now this one was put into eight ounces of water with two of these packets mixed in. So over four times the concentration that you should be making if you're actually going to consume this. And this is what happened to the egg. Very similar results to that viral video. All right, so this can be a really cool experiment to do with kids. I have one previous video explaining how this happens and why this happens and the chemical reaction between the citric acid and the calcium carbonate of the eggshell. So if you wanna do this, go watch those so you can have an explanation. And again, I've said this in every video, this does not show you what it's doing inside your body or to your teeth. And on top of that, this, was, this is being made at over four times the concentrations. Obviously, this isn't representative of what you're actually consuming. And even if it was, I mean, vinegar can dissolve in eggshell, lemon juice can dissolve in eggshell. That doesn't mean that it's unsafe for us to consume. I've been over all that, but I just wanted to figure this out. And actually, that is a really cool result. I'm just so disappointed that somebody decided to take their kid's science experiment and take a really cool result like this and turn it into fear mongering. So don't do that, but do please do experiments like this with their kids and actually explain the science that is happening behind it. All right, I'm done wasting eggs now but that was a really cool result.